everybody i am on day three of my vacation summer vacation and i really still don't feel like doing anything but i put five things on my list and one of them includes painting the garage and painting the porch panels so let's see if i can get that stuff done i'm at wally world i gotta get some yard stuff done i don't want to do the yard stuff don't want to do it but here i am let me go get this these supplies my last part of june and all of my july is all booked up so i gotta get this done but anyway look at this i'm going to paint the garage door a crazy color not this neutral color now my shutters and all my accents are green like a hunter green or something like that so i'm gonna do this whole door that color yeah then you see this right here i'm trying to match these shutters yeah and then I'm going to paint three posts on my porch. There were a lot of neighbors who painted their porches, uh, their posts and their garage doors, a color that matches their shutters. And I just like the way it pops. It gives it curb appeal. So I don't know, I guess I'm all about just popping things out this year. We'll talk about that later when I talk about, um, what do you call those, the uh, borders on the ground and the crown molding and all that stuff I am actually going for a black accent but everybody's telling me not to do it but I might just go ahead and do it in my bathroom and in my living room just because I'm tired of cleaning that white crap up and I just I'm just a functional person and I really don't care as long as it's aesthetically pleasing to me I'm good I'm the one who's got to see it all the time so I'll come back with this project done because I don't think you should have to watch me do it but if you have any questions I'd be happy to answer it but I'm always late to the game and I'm mostly watching you guys do everything anyway. So, that being said, let's do it. All right, just want to show everybody the results. All of the porch posts are painted hunter green. Yay. And the garage door is painted green too. It is a labor of love because it took forever. I will still do it again because I save money. Yep, looks nice. And I am heading to dance class. Yes, I have not really stretched out since last dance class, but I did like do partial stretching, but I'm working on a choreography piece for the, for the girls at church. And so while I'm doing this piece, it's like working out for me because I'm like, I, I get out in it and I dance and dance and dance for like, I guess maybe six song rotations until I get like the routine that I want and so I think I came up with a piece we're gonna dance to uh, Michelle Williams say yes and you know I've been singing this off and on for a while but only because I was trying to learn the lyrics and the lyrics are not that hard it's just that I am lyrically challenged and that's what happens when um, you dance you know the beat but you didn't don't, don't know what they're talking about so I had to print out the words to do it and just kind of memorize it and then it kind of goes into my short-term memory until the next song so basically that's what it is but what i like about ballet is that when we go to dance there's not usually words to our songs it's just beats and air sometimes you just gotta know what you have to do so it's pretty cool to like go to class and just kind of mellow out to music that doesn't have lyrics it's pretty relaxing actually and ballet is just a whole bunch of stretching and balancing and um, lifting of your own body so when I do all of these things I feel real empowered and strong yeah so I'm going I got this um, forever 21 shirt on that my um, sister and my nieces gave to me and it's really easy breezy I have my black shorts I have on my slip-ons right now and I'm going to uh, have on my black ballet shoes. We have a new teacher so I won't be recording this one but I'll try to record some of my future um, classes so that way you can kind of see what we do. You're not going to believe this but it doesn't happen, happen often and the reason why I say it is because it doesn't. I am actually going to Starbucks over here by Lowe's because I had to buy something for my yard and I was gonna like come in because I've never been to Starbucks in a long long time so I really didn't know what I wanted so I went around the store and they didn't have any parking so I went through the drive-thru so the pressure of that was trying to order something really fast 
without holding up this line because it's packed over here. But thanks to my church for giving me a Starbucks gift card. So we're going to go ahead and use that today to pay for this. So I wouldn't have came over here any other time. And the good thing is I'm very hungry right now. But I left my debit card in my pocket of my jeans pants at my house. So this worked out. Thank you. <laughs> so this is what I ended up getting. A tall strawberries and cream. Whatever it is. But it was just, it sounded the best on the menu. It tastes really fresh and light. It's got this whipped cream going on over here. It's really yummy. Mm-hmm. I need to take my supplements. <laughs> I take a B complex because I have low energy and it helps me out. So I got a B complex supplement I'm taking, and this will be a great addition to it. 